All right, hi, I'm Michael. I'm Nash. And today we're going to teach you a game called Three Guesses, which Nash has invented with a few little rule modifications along the way. Okay, so to play, you need a regular deck of cards, and we're going to be using the cards to make two digit numbers. So this deck has got cards zero through to nine. Now, this is a kid friendly deck, so we've got zeros. Uh, but if you have a deck of cards that doesn't have zeros, you could use queens for zeros. Now, we're also going to use a, a whiteboard at the start, paper and pencil you could use, just to brainstorm the types of words we could use in the game when we're giving clues. So, Nashi, let's quickly come up with a bit of a list. What are some of the words we could use for the clues? Even, odd. Okay, so we could go with even slash odd. What else? Square number. Square, yeah. What else? Um, can't be my 10 number. Okay, so what do we say? Counting by. Okay. Counting by 10 or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Prime number? Yeah. Larger than? Yeah. Smaller than? Beautiful. Stop. That's enough. Oh, it's smaller than. Yep. Yeah. So having that list there can just help us to think of clues while we're playing. So we've come up with a bit of a list. Now obviously the words that you come up with with your child will depend on the types of the, the, the language that they're comfortable using. So I'll put that there and actually if you want to have a look at it while we're playing to think about clues. So the way to play is, it's called three guesses and on each turn, do you want me to go first Nash? So on each turn you get dealt three cards and you're going to use the three cards to make a two digit number. Okay, so these are my cards. So I'm gonna use these cards to make a two digit number. And I'm gonna put the other card down there. Now Nash is, I'm gonna give Nash three clues. The clues are gonna start off with a difficult one, then a medium clue, and then one that's a bit easier. All right? So Nashi, uh, I am an even number. Uh, 24. No. Uh, I am smaller than 20. Okay. 16. And I am a multiple of 6. 12. No, so it was 18. <gasps> so Nash didn't get it, so he doesn't get any of the cards. So the way it works is if he got it on the first clue, he'd get all three cards. If he gets on the second clue, he gets two cards. If he gets on the last clue, he gets one card. So they go back to the bottom of the deck. Okay, so then the game would continue. So now it would be Nash's turn. So Nash, I'm going to deal you three cards. And I want you to use them to try and make a two-digit number. Don't show me, but try and show it so mum can see. So which, how are you going to make a two-digit number? I'm going to get rid of that. Okay. It's an even number. Okay. Uh, 24. No, it's smaller than... It's... Smaller than um, 18. 60. Yeah. Oh, my God. All right. So because I got on the second clue, I get to keep those two cards, and this one goes to the bottom of the deck. I have zero. Yeah, you have zero. All right, we ready? We'll go again. Okay, so the game we continue now. So I'm going to use these to make a two-digit number. Put that card there. All right, Nashi, uh, it's a multiple of 10. Um, 20. No, it is smaller than 50. 30. You got it. So Nash got on the second guess. He gets two cards. That one goes to the bottom of the deck. So now it'd be Nash's turn again. So Nash gets three cards. You use them to make mm. two-digit number. Try and make one you know lots about, Nashi. Mm. Okay, so hold them so the camera can see, gorgeous. It's an even number. 12. Um, it's in the 70s. Ah, uh, 74. It's, hmm, it's less than 76. Okay, so it's not 76, it's not 74. A good clue, so it's either 72 or 70. I reckon it's 72. Yeah. Okay, so how many cards do I get? One, and the other two go to the bottom of the deck. Mm -hmm. All right, so the game continues like that. 
Uh, Nash and I normally play for five turns each, and at the end, you're just counting up the cards to see whoever's got two. the most cards. Uh, we only played two rounds, and I've got three cards. Now, to, um, and yeah, like obviously, it's a really good game for developing your the vocab of maths, um, and you can also simplify it. You can play it with one digit numbers. You can make it more complex. You can play with three digit numbers. So that's three guesses. Three digit numbers. Can we play three digit numbers? We can play three digit numbers. Yeah. All right, that's three guesses. Thank you, and we hope you enjoy. And we'll see you next time. Bye.